Okay, so let's continue with our lesson number four. Um, without further ado, let's share our Excel file. Okay, so this is where we stopped. I showed you in the last video how to attack this problem. There are two ways since we're asked to be adding some of items transported by trucks. I told you there are four trucks, track one, two, three, and four. Okay, you want a third solution? I'm going to give it to you right now. Okay, so the other one is actually using that asterisk sign. Okay, so asterisk is a wildcard character or wildcard sign or symbol. Represents any character or symbol after this word track. Okay, so in logic, that covers already track one, two, three, and four. So the other solution that I was thinking because of the choices that you have here is that you have only trucks, okay, and airplanes. So what I'm going to do is the reverse of that logic. So I'm just going to equals sum, not sum if, sum of what? I'm going to add uh, the values from E2 to E25. Okay, so once I added that one, I'm going to reverse it with the sum if, or I'm going to subtract it uh, with the sum if of uh, F2 to F25, but using that airplane. Okay, so comma E2 colon E25. Okay, so let's go here. Okay, let's explain a little bit on the formula. Sum of E2 to E25. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is to add all those values and subtract it with the value corresponding to airplane. So what will be the remaining of this is 511 because I just removed the items for the airplane and the rest will be for the trucks, isn't it? Okay, so I hope you, you got this point. So let's proceed. Our next one is um, the count ifs and the sum ifs. The count ifs and the sum ifs are just, uh, I mean, in essence, same with count if and count if and sum if. Uh, but if you have more than one criteria, okay, more than one, so that means two or three or four criteria criteria or more, okay? So you, you can use count ifs, okay? Let's give an example. Number of microwave orders in Boston. Uh, so that means there are already three criteria. It has to be, uh, the destination should be to Boston and it should be the microwave. So remember there are different items, microwave, refrigerator, so your the discount ifs must be at the same time when you say these two conditions so it's like and okay microwave orders in boston so it must be microwave orders and boston okay so let's go for that count ifs the only difference is going to use s after this okay you can see the argument criteria range one criteria criteria one or criterion one. So where are we going to get that criteria range one? So microwave orders, just to make a review, uh, it's in the column D. So item. So count ifs D2 to D25. Okay. The first criteria is microwave. From spelling wrong, don't forget. And then criteria range two is Boston. So we did this in the first first example, which is now the range where we're going to get the G2 to G25, okay? And then comma, Boston, okay? So that's the combination. You're just trying to find out which one is microwave from the items. 
sorry, you are just trying to find out the microwave in D2 to D25 and, and the boson from G2 to G25. Okay, so when you press enter here, the answer is two. So there are just two times that it occurred, the microwave will be transported to Boston. Okay, so the next example is the number of orders in Boston after 0302-2013. Okay, so I have to like uh, remind you, okay, on how to use this. And this is an example of actually manipulating dates. So 0302-2013 is actually in uh, from my uh, date format, the date format that I'm having right now, 03 is, um, let, let us see. Yeah, 03, the first two numbers are day, okay? The number of day or the, the number that represent the day. So 03 is, and then 02 is the number that represents a month. So that's February. And then 2013, okay, is the year. Okay, let me just check. Date format. Okay, I'm clicking B2 and then I will look for this uh, more number uh, format so I can see the, uh, the format of the date that I have. Okay, so 0140321012. So yes, the correct, I have a correct format. I mean, uh, what I said to you is the correct uh, format. Um, not correct, what I'm saying is that uh, what I told you about the format is correct, okay? So what? why am I reminding this? Because each uh, system, computer or Excel, when you install that, you have different formats of uh, by default of your Excel of it maybe somebody changed that format already so you have to be careful on that so the question that I gave you corresponds to my date format so but it depends on that um, question later on for example during the exam you encounter the question okay it's either I already specified which one is the date the day the month and the year there or if you're confused, you can ask question, which one, what format is this, Mr. Orvin? Okay, because you have to be careful with that. Otherwise, you cannot manipulate it. Okay, or you will have an error. So the date is here. The question that we have for that sum ifs, <clears throat> sorry, is that the number of orders in Boston after 02, 0302, 2013. So let's uh, try to attack this. So again, sorry, this is not sum if, this is count ifs. Okay. So the first range is G2 to G25 because I'm looking for Boston. Second range is the B column, B2 to B25. I know that because we already just saw that uh, date is in the the date is in the B column. Now the criteria will be after, so it's gonna be greater than uh, zero three colon zero two. Uh, no, no, not colon, but slash twenty thirteen. Um, I'm a little bit hesitant on this. Okay, but let's let's try. Let's try. Okay, so maybe I only have a mistake. Okay, two. Okay, so that means my formula is correct. G2, G25, Boston, B2, B25, greater than uh, 0302, 2013. So let's double check. All that is being delivered in Boston. Okay, and then that should be after date filters. Uh, after 03, 02, 2013. That's okay. Yeah, only two qualified for the two criteria. Okay, so I'm going to unfilter everything. Okay, 
I want you to answer this part number of orders between 030 to 2013 and 060 to 2013. Anyway, uh, when you say between, okay, it includes the dates that was mentioned here. So between means from 030 to 2013 until 060 to 2013. Remember, and please try to remember this, the date format of your Excel has to be checked first before you can answer uh, before you can logically answer this question. OK, so let's proceed. Um, some of items transported, uh, some of microwave, sorry, transported to New York. So this is just uh, when you do for some if uh, more than one criteria so like what the example is it's looking for a microwave that is transported for, to new york but we're also going to add the values that corresponds to this so that means it involves the number of items okay so here okay that's what we're going to add but the criteria for the microwave in new york must be met so some if Sorry, must start with equal sign. Some ifs, open parenthesis. You can see here the sum range. Okay, the first thing that you have to do is what range or what is the column that you will add. Okay, or the value that uh, con uh, the, the column that contains the value that you will add. So it's the first thing. So if you're going to remember, it's on the E2 to E25. I like the count ifs. Uh, we don't need that, but the sum if. Okay without the S, the sum if without the S, uh, the, the, the sum range is at the last part of the argument, okay? But here, that's the first part. And then so next one is the criteria range, which is the microwave. And the microwave is the item, uh, which is D2 until D25, comma, uh, microwave, okay? You will not put the S because uh, in the list, they, it doesn't have the S, the letter S. Criteria range 2 is G2 to G25, the destination column, okay, and then NY, or New York, capital N, capital Y, close parenthesis, the answer is 25, okay? So it's the same idea, you have to answer the rest of this. Okay, until here, and then, then I'm going to um, I'm going to explain everything. Not explain. I will just go through the other uh, examples that we didn't answer. So thank you for watching. Ciao.